Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kristen, and if you're new here, uh, this is Kristen Cooks, and today we are making a strawberry crumble oatmeal oatmeal bars. Is that right? Strawberry oatmeal crumble bars. <clears throat> Excuse me. So first in the bowl, I'm going to take some old-fashioned oats. Um, a little tip here, it's better to use old-fashioned and not like quick cooking oats because that will make it drier. Um, that was just in the notes of the recipe. And then I'm also putting in some sugar instead of granulated sugar. I'm subbing for coconut sugar. It's a tiny bit healthier. <laughs> um, and then a half a, a quarter cup of light brown sugar. This is just regular old brown sugar that I make packed and that goes in with the oats and the flour and the butter and then a little bit of salt just gonna do a couple sprinkles you put in how much you want though or how less and then mix that up this is gonna act as both the crust and the crumble topping too so and it's gonna go into an 8x8 eight eight baking dish um, preheat your oven to 350 I believe I will link this recipe in the description box as always and this was really good I have to admit this was a really good little dessert I've had it for dessert the last couple nights and I think I've ate pretty much all of it by myself <laughs> my son tried it and he liked it too oh I'm also scooping out one cup of the mixture to reserve for the topping so in this 8x8 dish as you see here. I have just a piece of parchment or you can use foil if you want. If you use foil, I would spray it with nonstick and then just pour the remaining of the oat crumble in the bottom of the baking dish. This will be the crust. And then just get your hands and press it down to the bottom in an even layer, as evenly as you can. Different shot here. Yep, just pressing it in. This was really tasty, especially since strawberries are on sale now and in season. This is like the perfect little summer dessert in my book, if you ask me. I love strawberries. <clears throat> They're harder to grow, though, than you think. Every time I do, the bugs always get to them because I wait too long to pick them. <laughs> but anyway, they just never grew very well for me. I don't know why. Just never did. Okay, and now I'm going to start processing my strawberries. So I have, this is about roughly going to equal two cups of roughly chopped strawberries. When you're all done, I'm just quickly doing this. And then I'm going to put these into a two cup measuring cup just to make sure that I have enough, which I did. Actually had a little bit extra, but it all went in. It all went in. I love strawberries. I love the strawberry color too. It's just so pretty and so springy and summery and summery. <laughs> but here we go. And then I'm going to pour these strawberries into a bowl so we can add a few ingredients to the strawberries before they go in. I'm just using the same bowl as I made the crust in or the crumble topping. So to the strawberries, I'm going to add a, a half a cup of granulated sugar. This will help the berries to release some of their juices and make it even better. And then two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. This will just help to brighten up the flavor of the strawberries and give it a little soury punch with the, the sweetness of the strawberry. So in goes two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice or just use it from the bottle. It doesn't matter. And then two teaspoons of cornstarch. This will help to thicken the strawberries, you know, because they're going to give off a lot of juice when they're baking. So the cornstarch will just help make it into a thicker um, kind of sauce, if you will. It's a very important step. Just want to make sure and add that in. And then mix the cornstarch well in with the sugar and the strawberries and the lemon juice. And now we're almost done. So I'm gonna pour the strawberries over the crust, which was the oatmeal, you know, crumble that we made. 
Here's the remaining, the reserved one cup of the crumble that I reserved. So I'll just um, put it over the top of the strawberries. And then this is gonna go in the oven and it's gonna bake for almost an hour. So you do need a little bit of time to do this. But I really loved it. You could also use blueberries instead, or you could do strawberry blueberry, or you could do strawberry raspberry, or just blueberry and just raspberry. Like the options are endless. Let's get a little dramatic about it. <laughs> so I'm just spreading this around. And you can serve this, I ate mine, one night I had it with a little ice cream and another night I had it with some whipped cream and it was a really, really good little dessert. As you can see, it's going to be bubbly and it's going to be golden brown and it's going to be, you know, kind of set when it's done. And you want to make sure it is totally cooled when you go to serve it up and cut it up. It was just a little bit too soft here. But you just let it cool for, you know, a couple hours before you want to eat it. Otherwise, it will become a, a messy mess when you go to serve it up and cut it up and then, you know, get in there with your spatula. See, look, it, it's a little bit messy here still. But once you put it in the fridge and let it completely cool, it's a really good dessert. And I highly recommend this dessert. I got it on Pinterest and I will link it for you. I hope that you make this. You're going to love it. It's a great summer dessert or a snack, a midday snack, you know, whatever, what have you. And, you know, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel if you have so. Thank you so much. And um, stay tuned for more videos this week. Bye.